So it's time to have a look at gaming on the MiPad 3. So this one has a new chipset in there, it's a hexa-core with a maximum turbo of 2.1 gigahertz. The GPU is a PowerVR 6250. So I'm going to push it to the limits, test out some popular titles. Just be aware though that my current ROM, which is MIUI 8.2.8, .8, seems to be quite buggy, unstable, and doesn't want to play ball with every single game I'll test here, as you'll find out in the video. There's glitches, and even some games will just crash and refuse to work. So first up is World of Tanks here. This is the game set on the highest setting. So let's have a look and see how it performs. Okay, that frame rate seems good. So far, that's quite smooth. He's probably going to hit me, and I think he just did. I'm getting hit. I'm probably going to die. Okay, got that little tank. Oh, I think he's already dead. Sorry, I'm not a very good player at this game. I really have not played this much at all, but it seems very playable. This frame rate, higher settings, seems good to me. Sadly, UFC doesn't work. You can see it's just all glitchy. The menu starts out flashing away and you can't play this. It's a complete mess. So this is another game that's buggy on the current 8.2.8 .8 ROM. Now I'd love to show you Asphalt Extreme, but I'll just demonstrate that it's not working. That it crashes every time when I go to select my account. My online profile it does that flashing thing, which I've seen in other games. You see it's coming up now. This is extremely annoying. I don't understand why show me a releasing ROM so unstable. So when I select my account every single time, there's no way I can get it to work on this current ROM. Very, very disappointing. The ROM is so buggy. Okay, so Modern Combat 5, this one at least is working. It's not flickering and bugging out and crashing like the other games. Little bit of stutter just then. But you see that frame rate looks good so far in here. Some devices have quite a bit of lag. I have noticed one thing, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a blue haze or tinge in the blacks here. The blacks don't look deep black for some reason. It's only just this game, I've spotted it. Big stutter just then as well. Quite a bit of stutter and lag just then. Not the smoothest I've seen this game run. Whoa, definitely not. Okay, so overall performance of this game, I would class as being quite average. You can see it gets quite laggy and study, uh, stuttery there. Even I'm stuttering just like the game. So this title here is Heroes of Incredible Tales. Someone asked me to play this on Android devices because it's using the Unreal Engine and they claim this one's going to be very demanding. But as you see, it has these graphical glitches there with the dust, which does not look good at all. Apart from that, the frame rate's okay. Look how glitchy that is. So we're going to have to wait for some bug fixes, some patches on the ROM, I think, to get rid of those glitches with that dust. 
It's like a texture problem with it. This title here is FIFA Mobile. Playing perfectly fine, good frame rate. See if I can score a goal. No. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game. But you see the frame rate is excellent. There's no graphical glitches. Perfectly fine. Perhaps a little bit of slowdown just then I detected. I just saw the frame rate dip down a little, but you see there, close up with those replays, the camera angles, everything uh, looks fine. This title here is Clash of Clans. Looks really good on the screen, great colors. Just almost pops out of the screen because it's fully laminated. I think this game is going to be perfectly fine. Perhaps on those very large village levels, there could be a little bit of slowdown, but here you can see perfectly playable. Okay, so the last time I'm going to test out is Mortal Kombat X. Uh, and it's not working. I can hear the audio, but I can't see anything. So, oh wow, massive glitches on this one. Look at that. That is horrible. What is going on? So another title that does not display the textures correctly. Another game that isn't... Well, it's playable, yeah, but... Looks like absolute rubbish. So before you, me fanboys, start hating on me and saying that I've faked this or whatever, and my ROM's not the stable, legit ROM, whatever. This is the ROM that came with the tablet. Now it is possible that you're looking at this video six months later and it's perfectly fine. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure they're going to patch it and fix it. But this is MIUI 8.2.8, which at the time of recording this video, this is the stable most recent ROM on the Mi Pad 3, which is completely buggy, unacceptable, not good for gaming as you've seen in this video. Hey, and why not? Just for the hell of it, I'll throw in another video here of another bug. This happened when I tried to first test real racing, and look, the whole thing has just jammed up completely. The whole tablet is unresponsive. None of the capacitive buttons work. Nothing. It's completely locked up. Auto rotation does not work. The only way to get past this is I have to completely power off the whole buggy tablet on this completely bug filled beta ROM that I am testing for show me. So time to have a look at the thermals now. Surface temperatures around 33 degrees on the front of the screen. It's only really warm to the touch now. I've been gaming now for approximately 40 minutes. On and off between those crashes of course. And on the rear about 30 degrees there. So it's really just getting warm to the touch. That's about it. So that was gaming performance there on the Mi Pad 3. Sadly, it's very disappointing as you can see because half of the games don't even run and if they do run then it's going to have graphical glitches. So show me have a lot of work to do on this ROM. I can't even understand or believe fathom why they would release a device with such an unstable ROM on it. Okay, if they want Android 7 but the ROM's not stable then at least give us a stable proven Android 6 ROM at least. So at this point, I can't recommend it. Wait for the newer firmware updates, maybe even wait for a global ROM, or at least them to fix this problem. Then I think it'll be okay. The gaming performance, those games that did work, you can see were fine, they were playable, but they did have a few stutters here and there. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to catch you back in the final review, which could be delayed a little bit if I decide to wait for more ROM updates to hopefully cure some of these problems because in its current state, as you can see, really unacceptable.